terrible dream. I am parched. Station, this is Chris Earle with KCRG TV in Cedar Rapids. How do you hear us? I have you loud and clear, Chris. Another clear giveaway is the fact that the background scale is way off compared to her scale. Just look at it. Tim is back in space on the International Space Station for Expedition 50. 51 will follow. This launched back in late October. Her crew docked with the ISS in mid-November. And throughout the recent past, we've caught up with Peggy a handful of times as an Iowa native to see what she's been seeing and experiencing. as part of NASA. In fact, we last talked with her on the morning show exactly two months ago today here on KCRG TV9. Good morning, Peggy, although again, I suppose morning is relative where you are right now. Yeah, it's actually getting to be afternoon, late afternoon for me now. I'm on uh, Greenwich Mean Time, so it's six hours ahead of you. So a simple question to ask right away, and I'm curious about this. When you look outside of your window, or the nearest window. What can you see right now? That's better. Uh, I could use another one of those. Once again, from Mission Control Houston, and welcome to our ongoing coverage of SpaceX's 13th, re 13th recent. mission to the International Space Station. The Dragon resupply cargo craft in the grasp of the Canada Arm 2 robotic arm right now and is just moments away from being attached to the International Space Station. You can see in the video right next to me it's poised just outside of the port on Node 2, the Harmony module, where Dragon's going to soon be attached and will remain attached for the next several weeks until it gets ready to come home in mid-January. Control of the robotic arm is being remotely commanded by teams down here on the ground after the crew successfully captured the vehicle just a little while ago, um, just a little under two hours ago. As you can see, it's slowly driving towards that port now, and uh, we do expect it to be in its position to latch, its ready to latch position in the not too distant future. And then once it's uh, in place there, they'll be able to do the final capture stages, which will uh, involve uh, engaging a series of latches on the common berthing mechanism, the CBM, um, and then a series of 16 bolts, also known as A-bolts, which will firmly hold Dragon in place. And once those bolts have all driven, we'll consider the vehicle berthed to the International Space Station. And we're back with this HD view of Dragon still attached to the end of the Canon Arm 2 robotic arm. It was captured just about two hours ago by NASA astronaut Mark Van de Heij, who was primed for the capture. So 
Dragon inching in now, moving very close. And this will be a two-stage process once it actually gets attached to the common birthing mechanism. First, a series of latches holding it in place, followed by those 16 bolts to perform a hard mate, and that's when capture and installation will be complete. And again, we're standing by Dragon currently in the ready-to-latch stage. The first stage capture will come first. And looking like that first stage capture in work. Now some configuration on the robotic arm. And then the second stage capture and the A bolts, 16 bolts that are engaged to hold Dragon in place will come next. And Dragon installed 726 AM Central, 826 AM Eastern. SpaceX's 13th resupply mission installed now to the International Space Station. Stage one entry burn shut down. Falcon 9 first stage headed back toward Cape Canaveral Air Force Station where it launched six minutes, 37 seconds ago. Stage two performance nominal. Everything going well with stage two carrying Dragon to the- Stage one AFTS has saved. International Space Station. Stage one is transonic. Stage one is past the speed of sound. It's now subsonic. Landing bird startup. Landing bird underway. First stage landing legs will be deployed shortly. And a sonic boom passes across the Florida Space Coast. Like the Falcon deployed. 9 first stage. Makes a pinpoint landing back at landing zone one at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. LZ-1, the F-9 has landed. Uh, landing operators proceed to procedure 11.100, section three on LZ-1 net. 